vocational, technical, and technological education are described as the bedrock of continuous development in any society as contribution of technology to global economy plays more role in the final analysis than any other component. Working in line with the vision of the Federal Government for Polytechnics in Nigeria, the Federal Polytechnic in Laro has produced electric tricycle. The rector of the Polytechnic said the institution is working more on how to provide solutions to some of the challenges confronting the country as it has produced many machines for local use. We, are, we have a lot of equipment that we have been able to uh, manufacture, constructed or thereabouts by our students and lecturers electric uh, tricycle that uh, you will soon see it and that is also their working that is being uh, assembled or manufactured by our students and also we have a lot of things is it the biometric device that we should have imported we didn't import it what we do choose to do is to make sure that we we produce it internally he highlighted other things the institution is doing to help the country sand saving machine plantain slicing machine Tuba combined shipping and drying machine. If all those innovations and application of theory were able to take it to the market, to the industrialists, through manufacturization of Nigeria, a lot of equipment that we import will not be imported. While speaking on funding the technical and vocational education in Nigeria, imagine issues and strategies, the guest lecturer at the Polytechnic's 21st Convocation Lecture at the Fatah Abuaba of the Department of Computer Engineering, University of Maiduguri, identified poor funding, inadequate facilities, brain drain, poor societal perception as some of the challenges confronting the sector. When you have a system that is discriminating against its own product, then how will the product you know, be able to perform? So that is why the mix is not working. He urged stakeholders in vocational, technical and technological education to think without the box by advancing other viable and productive ways of generating additional funds for the institutions. Kazim Olawe, TVC News, Ilaro. Well, interesting stuff. Um, GKB, let me start with you. Well, yeah, just right there, we heard um, thinking outside of the box. Others yeah. will be saying, just think like there's no box at all. Mm. Amazing feat, you see. The best thing is to appear that everything is in a state of flux. Mm. There are no boundaries and there are no boxes. Well, this has been going on for years, but the, the lacuna to me is between the Manifest Association of Nigeria and the, and the tertiary institutions that do a lot of this research. For example, I know there was a point in Ibadan, the Ibadan itself has about eight or nine research institutes, yeah. basically to provide yeah. for companies in the Kedja and all that. And most of these things, well, now that's all the light of the day, or well, we brought in the, <laughs> the Asian version. Mm. That, uh, you and I know that we have Pando Yam now that is made in China. Mm. The Yam that have been pounding for the last 1,000 years. So things like that is really the thing that the man said. They can do stuff, but if the people don't believe in the stuff they make, mm. these things cannot really see the light of day. Because mm. we have this perception that if it's not foreign, it's not good. It's a tragedy of the highest proportion. That's why in most countries, they always make sure that things they don't need, they only bring in things they cannot manufacture or produce locally. It's going to be tough in the beginning, but Nigeria is the only country that is still paying <laughs> dollars that are scarce to bring in champagne, <laughs> to bring in more chandon. When we have quality palm wine and all that. Of that serves no direct purpose to our GDP. Well, because it's what the elite wants, mm. not what the people want. So that's where we are. Well, Biko, uh, he's actually talked about uh, not having this pension for having pension for foreign goods and not local content. This same school, Lara Polytechnic. Uh, also produced ventilators during the COVID-19 yeah. pandemic, if you could recall. Yes, and uh, I'm really proud and of did that the in achievements a week. of this, um, this school and, and there are other schools like them, the, the Amadubelo University, for example. I remember that the Nigerian Air Force partnered with the Amadubelo University to produce spare parts for the Alpha Jet. Because the Alpha Jet, which is still one of the um, very useful um, um, war 
Normal since has been uh, decommissioned by its makers. It's, uh, it's a French uh, airplane. But we still use it here. We still use it here. They can't source the spares anywhere. But they got into partnership with Amado Bello University to help them pro yes, fabricate the spears for the alpha jet and keep it uh, uh, on, on air. So if we will look within, the Nigerian people, young people especially, they are very inventive, they are very creative, and they always think outside the box. If we will look within, there is a lot that we can do. There is a lot that we can do. I've seen um, Binaton and the rest of them manufacture yam pounding machine. The best yam pounding machine that I've seen is the one made here in Nigeria and by Nigerians in a company in Kaduna. Because when you use others, after a while, especially, no, if the uh, your bandayan is very fluffy, after a while, because their blades are flat, mm. it will not be able to turn the pandemic anymore. But the one made here, the blades are not flat. The blades are like... Yeah, they are covered on. Yeah, they are like your, your finger, mm. you know. Strong. The, it pierces through the, yeah. the, yam, the yam. Enabling, no matter how fluffy it is, enabling it to still be able to uh, turn it around on like those flat blade like ones. It's our food, so we know what. what yes, so, so they can't, whatever they like, let them do it in the US or anywhere. <laughs> our own people came up with it's the right sure. way yeah. to produce um, a, yam a yam pounder, and they do it very well. Some they are, they are not even in form of, um, they don't look beautiful, but it gets the job done. When you go to uh, Benway, for example, there's one big restaurant in Benue where you can eat plenty of uh, uh, bush meat and all that. Mm -hmm. Ave, also, or Ave, I don't know how it's pronounced, that mm -hmm. restaurant. When you go there, they have their own makeshift yam panda because the people of Benue, they can eat panda yam three times a day mm -hmm. or more. If you are around them, they will kill you with panda yam. <laughs> uh, so they don't believe in semovita or panda yam every time. That's so. Right. They know that they have to be able to. You don't have to pound of the physically pound for people, so they have to make the equipment that produces. I mean, a, a pounds yam, you know, in, in good quantity, and people are ready to eat. It will still be hot. It's served hot like that. So, our right. people looking what? There's a lot that we can do. What we need to do is spend more money on research. You know. Fund these institutions, these technological institutions, fund them adequately. And there's nothing that says, as they produce these um, um, innovations, uh, uh, tricycles, that you cannot take it a step further. It shouldn't just end up there. Can we mass produce, for example? Yeah. yeah. That type that they come up with, can we patent it so that it becomes our own and we register it in that form what they produce in that place at this point i will expect the federal government and even the governor of Ogun state to get involved now that we are looking at alternatives from the yes the petroleum and give them the encouragement and let's see how far they can go yeah. with producing these things that's right can they because that one the one that i saw looked even really uh, uh, comfy mm -hmm. More comfy than the, the ones what you see out there that you bring in from Make India, sure. India and all these places. India encouraged production of Tata. You see an Indian who prefer to write in Tata. Today, Tata is a big, big global brand. Yeah. So who says we cannot manufacture the Nigerian car? That's right and make it a global brand. It all, we have to like what we produce here. All of the people crazy about things that are not Nigerian.
Ah, you don't want to buy that dress because it's not uh, it's made in Abba. It's made here. <laughs> no, we need, we need to stop it. Right. Uh, GKB, I, I, I do not know. What exactly is our problem? Uh, you know, this taste for foreign, even wigs and all of that. Um, uh, is, is, it, is it lack of marketing? Are we not doing enough even marketing? the Indian hem smokers, they still prefer uh, one from product. Colorado. <laughs> Two things, really. Or what's the name of that state in the U.S.? We are Senator Bob McCain. Uh, okay. N um, um, I know the state. Yes, it, 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 it's, I think it's around that place that the Access Bank, uh, the plane. Okay, Las Vegas. No, no, Las Vegas. No, California. Uh, anyway, the... Close to New York. Okay. So the other state, An hour later. Anyway. Michigan, New Jersey, Delaware. Two things. Right. One is the fact that it's based on our colonial history. Just yesterday, I was watching so the documentary. Arizona, that's what you're trying yeah, to say. Arizona, 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 yeah. Arizona, thanks. It's based on our... I'm not encouraging uh, Indian hand smoke. <laughs> I'm just, you see, <laughs> if you are driving, you are coming in through that street where Fermi Shrine yeah. is, they will be showing you signs. That is what you said, look at this once. I've never tested it in my land. I prefer <laughs> to die than take You are signaling to me whether that's what I want. That's what you want. And on Femi's wall, it is written that drug kills. But they are not ready to listen. The Federal Ministry of Health <laughs> warns that smokers are liable to die young. Yeah, but you but then we have it written. It's, written. it's a part of the world. Marijuana is legal and it's medicinal. Yeah. Right. Example, in, in, we, we will not. Mm. In, in, in Netherlands, they even have what they call the uh, marijuana cookies. That's their problem. That is have to say. We will not encourage. Back to the Nigeria. Let's back to the Nigeria issue. Two things we are. We suffer from two things. No self-esteem is one, and our colonial past is another. Yeah. Don't forget that it, there was a point in Nigeria that people were changing their surnames to Johnsons and uh, Mackins or Williams, Jones you know, because they just don't want to appear posh. Appear yeah, foreign. Uh, it's part of the problem we face, even with our tastes. Mm -hmm. uh, because when people go out of their way, they also create the impression that they are better than something else. problem. But what we need to do, which uh, Mr. Baj also tried in 79, if you remember, was to force us to buy local. By simply putting a price on those things that we know we can do here. In the US, all the Japanese cars are U.S. specific. All That's the right. phones right. are U.S. specific. Deliberately, they, they deliberately set up a structure to ensure that you must meet certain standards yeah. to bring in stuff into their country. That's right. We can do that. Yeah, but That's let's right. even focus on producing our own. Right? Yeah. That's what yeah. they do because by giving standards, they are telling you that to bring something in, you cannot really make money. Yeah. You know, you know, because our own will have been there. Because we've had we on a, break. a succession of very bad leaders. Yeah. Otherwise, at independence, Nigeria was at par with Brazil, mm. with uh, uh, Malaysia, all of these countries. That's Today, right. Brazilians, they are making airplanes. Look at their buses. In fact, when we talk about Marco Polo. buses, we mm. believe that the one mm. from Brazil is the best. That's right. Nigeria would have been at that level, but we didn't have the right continue, leaders continue on. to push us all the way up. The yeah. defense well, something in Kaduna was created basically for that. No, at a point it was only producing for salt. Mm, mm. Anyway, gentlemen, we can uh, we can always um, talk about the good old days, but then we hope that we have no. We just have to better days. We have to stop bringing in things we don't need or things that we can produce. Yes. Absolutely.